and all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Here's some of the headlines at DrugsReport.com and Infowars.com. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Six Syrian with fake passport captured in Honduras. Now Costa Rica detained Syrian traveling on Greek passport. ISIS threatens New York City in new propaganda video. Times score attack. Syrian community leader ISIS already in USA. Refugees cannot be vetted. Get real, uh, says the government. And it just goes on from that point on six men from pakistan afghanistan busted entering arizona al-qaeda uses refugee program to smuggle operatives into kentucky report 827 somalis resettled in six weeks only one christian i love how obama says it's discriminatory to try to bring christians in that's the point of refugee status Christians, the UN admits, are the most persecuted group in the world. Their persecution in the last decade has doubled. They're being murdered all over the Middle East. And Obama knows how dumb his politically correct audience is. And he goes, we can't just bring Christians in. That's discriminatory. No, we know. You won't let Christians get out. <sighs> it is so sick. And it shows how much they hate us, bitter clingers. They don't care if you're black. They don't care if you're Asian, Hispanic, Arabic, whatever. You're a Christian. This global government hates your guts. And Christians are persecuted. And our leaders, our Christian leaders, are controlled and won't stand up for us. We're under attack, people. And Christians should come together. And even if you don't believe in Christianity, but you believe in Western culture and freedom... You shouldn't like your culture, what you came from, being under attack and being replaced with a bunch of crazy, radical, jihad crap. And people know I was against the Middle Eastern wars. I don't dislike Muslims or Arabs or any of it. But I'm not going to bend over with a bunch of radical ones telling me that my daughters belong to them and are going to wear hoods on their heads over my dead body. We're taking this country back, period. We're done. I don't care if it's globalists, radical Muslims, Satanists, whatever, whoever you are, get out of my way. 1776 is coming again, and you're not going to stop the new enlightenment, the new renaissance. Get out of the way, all of you. You globalists that want to suppress technology, radical Islamists that want to suppress culture, it's over. We're the real liberals. America was exceptional, and we're bringing it back.